What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we are playing EVE Online. This is actually a free-to-play game now on the PC platform. I'll have a link down in the description down below if you guys want to check the game out. You start off, you have to pick which empire you decide to work for. We have the Caldiri. In our Caldiri state, wealth and power comes only from loyalty to the corporation. We have the Menmatar. We will free all our people from the bonds of slavery to fight anything less is to betray the Republic. We have the Amar. Our mighty empire is built upon our faith in the Creator. Loyalty to the throne. We have the Galanty. The Federation is a beacon of democracy and liberty in the chaos of the New Eden. So it sounds like the Mimitar is more like the rebels compared to everybody else, so we'll probably go with this one. Alright, so they have a couple different ship types, at least. A Tempest, a powerful, flexible battleship commonly seen in Mimitar combat fleets. They have a probe, a specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration. The Mammoth, a cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. Reaper, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration duties. The Vigil, a high-tech frigate designed to disrupt electronic systems and weapons on the ships. So I'm guessing we would normally start with the Reaper. Alright, so... Select our origin. Alright, so we have a Brooder. A material strong-willed people, the Brooder hold their tribal heritage close to their hearts and renowned for living regimed, disciplined lives. The Sebister, widely respected as some of the Cluster's most innovative thinkers, the Sebsters are ingenious ingenious people with a cultural fondness of engineering. Ooh, this sounds pretty cool. Vekror. Originally nomads in the Matar's inhospitable desert region, the Vekror contribute great numbers of merchant healers, scholars, and fortune tellers to the- yeah, I don't care about the fortune tellers. Let's do the engineer. Customize the appearance. Alright, so before we get too far, I just wanted to show you guys something really cool. So they have a sculpting thing, so you can actually just click and drag on your character. And like fully customize how you want it that way. This has got to be like one of the most intricate character creating screens that I've seen in a long time. This is really cool. Alright, there we go. We now have our avatar. So our name, let's see if our name is a curse word in this one too. Alright, so industry division. Yeah, of course it's not available. Picture Tech Schooling Industry Division is well registered for its interdisciplinary approach to commerce and manufacturing. The Republic Military School curriculum stresses creative problem-solving techniques to prove some of the cluster's most innovative military minds is probably where we'll be. Or, the Republic University Institute of Exploration is known for pioneering research in the field of astro-archaeology. Ooh, that's a cool one too. I feel like this one's a little bit more of like a open-world sort of vibe. Alright, so full name, we're just going to do Cretaceous and enter the game. New Eden, a universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with a machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars? To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals. Or, to prove your worth in combat, cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer Training Program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Captain, I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. 
I am now transferring your pod into a ship provided by air as part of your cap. Captain, an unidentified communicator. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. Station hull integrity compromised. All right, so let's talk about the mega perks real quick. So basically, you're able to invite people into the game, and that's how you can earn free Omega points. That way, both of you are able to benefit from them. However, if you don't want to invite people or don't have anyone new to invite, this is a paid currency, which means you are going to have to give them a little bit of money in order to get all the perks in the game. However, this is a completely free-to-play game, so you don't actually have to go into the Omega program. Obviously, this is just to get a little bit extra speed, unlimited training beyond 5 million skill point units. I feel like most of this stuff is probably going to be more essential for like later on development in the game anyways. So if you're brand new to the game, I would obviously try to find a link. I'll have one down in the description down below if you want to follow that one. But if not, I don't think you physically need to buy the mega perks just at the start of the game. Just as like a quick disclaimer on that. And also, one more thing, if you are jumping into the Vanguard mode, which we played on the channel before, you are going to make a separate character for this mode compared to that, so you'll have to make a Capsular, which is what we are now. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. Hold down left mouse button and move your mouse around to rotate the camera. Gotcha! Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Okay, so we can look around the world here. Once again, this is a fully free-to-play game. It looks like they have a lot of content going on here, so I'm super excited to see it. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this game and possibly live stream it on this channel or not, because, like I said, it does look like there's quite a bit of content that we can actually do in it. Now, let's take a better look at our surroundings. Okay, so we can scroll in now. We need to actually pay attention. An Astero, no less. A fine ship, indeed. I have the ship. the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. And select an item when you click the approach command. Alright, so that'd be you. Now, let's see. Warp to within no given reason. So we're not actually able to warp with that. Looks like we can board, though. So nice. You don't actually have to be all the way there. Board the Astro now. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. The armor is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. This is Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Select Balin's ship in the overview and click approach. All right, so we just click on him and then we click this one over here on the left and it should automatically do it for us. So it does show that we got our current speed down here. Your vessel looks like it's seen better days. Ooh, five out of 131. 
Oh, he's actually going to be able to repair us? Nice! Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative, Aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on his technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. Enable safety to prevent all actions that would give you suspect criminal or retribution status. Interesting. Warp drive active. Okay, since we're falling behind this guy, it's going to automatically take us to where we're supposed to be going, so that's cool. Anomaly signature. Four, two, one. Guessing it's going to be this guy right here. We've now arrived at Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. The Cosmic Storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. Alright, so we have to approach the signal source, indicate it on your display. Oh. Do make sure that you are going to the right person. Do I get to kill things? We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. Orbit balance ship. Alright, so let's do you. Select orb. Oh, that's cool. So now it's going to automatically do it for us. Now we have lock onto target. Look at track. So we got velocity, angular. It doesn't actually show any of their health though. That'd be a nice stat. All right, so they're coming in pretty hot. They're targeting those civilian ships. Orbit enemy? Okay. We're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Okay, from here you can monitor your ship's status and use onboard equipment. Got it. The afterburner module highlighted on your display. Ooh, there is a boost. Let me to cut her off. We're now within range. Lock your target. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts. Here you can see the lock target shield, armor, and structure. Okay, so I'd be up there at the top. Fire at will, Captain. Make sure to use both of your guns. So we got civilian Gatlin pulse laser, and we have a. Oh, okay, so they're both the same. That's it, Captain. Let him have it. There we go. So this one will automatically lock onto it. We are doing quite a bit of damage to him. We are taking a little bit as well. Civilian stasis webify range reduces target ship velocity. Yeah. Let's slow them down. Both of our guns are going to be automatically doing it, so we don't really have to do too much with that. A cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. That cruiser is traveling fast. At its current speed. All right, it's a cruiser. So they were talking about current speed when I accidentally clicked it off. So let's slow it down. Too far. All right, so we need to orbit the enemy. Need to hit the booster so it doesn't take forever. Success, 
success, we must lock our target. All right, so lock onto the target. I feel like we should just do the web of fire. Too far away. What? They're trapped in our web, Captain. There we go. So turn both of the guns on. Basically, you just have to click on both and it's going to automatically start shooting. You'll be able to see the damage you're doing up here at the top. Now, his health bar should be chunking away 64% shield remaining, armor remaining, and structure. So eventually, we're going to break through the shield. We'll be able to start damaging the armor and possibly the structure at the same time. Last time, I missed it before we fully got it. It looks like our shield is about uh, three quarters of the way destroyed. So we do have that. We are going to have to go all the way through his armor before we are able to damage his whole integrity. Oh, nice. And someone repaired our armor, so we don't even have to do anything with that. So we have the stasis, we have the civilian afterburner, and we have the multi-spectral. Uh, Gavi ECM, jammer strength, radar, jammer strength, mag metric ECM, jammer strength, and radar, jammer strength. All right, so this is just basically for comms, blocking it out. This is obviously to speed us up. So yeah, looks like we got the, just the two guns that we have set. Shit. Two battleships breaking away from the enemy fleet. They're stopping the last civilian transport from warping away. Watch your six, Captain. They're bigger and badder than anything you've fought before. Tch. We're not scared. Alright, 17 kilometers away. Oh, I guess we do need to check them. Captain, we can use electronic countermeasures, ECM, to break the battleship's lock on the civilian transport. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. There is no other way to save those civilians. They are not capsuleers like you. Their deaths will be final. Yours will be a learning experience. We definitely just watched them die in front of us. That's All right, so we gotta orbit the enemy. Civilians has escaped. You've done good, Captain. I didn't even get to blow them up. Surely it'll let me kill them. Fire, Commander Ferris. Um, Once our ship is destroyed, the pod will soon follow. According to my calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. He's feeling uh, all right, so everything is just like. Am I supposed to be running away? Damn it. These bastards have me pinned down. I won't be able to reach you in time. Don't you dare leave us! You fought well today, Captain. This is a warrior's death. Luckily for you, it will not be your last. It's not gonna be our last. We're not. Oh my god, we did die. I tried to get over to him. It did not work out. That is so weird that it forces you to die. For you, death is not an end. It is simply the beginning of a new adventure. As always, I will see you on the other side. But if we were dead, if she was sending that whole message, would the new body even know that? The living captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vesper Calatrix, AIR's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. But from what he tells me, you deserve more than just our thanks. In fact, we have some credits waiting for you. The attack on the cloning facility interrupted your integration into AIR's career program. We've re-established your connection to the program, and you've already earned a reward. You can access the Air Career program via your Neocom. All right, so I'd be over here on the left. Program, ...where capsuleers can forge their own path through New Eden while earning rewards for their progress. Taking part in your first combat and experiencing your first ship loss have already earned you some interstellar credits, a.k.a. ISK. You can claim it now. The rewards you just claimed are available to redeem. Exit the program, view your redeem items to see your newly awarded ISK.
From here, you can redeem your ISK directly into your wallet. Okay, so that'd be redeemed to current station, so yes? As your last ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly. But whoa, whoa, whoa. I try to keep alive. Corvette at any station. Okay, so Corvette must be like the basic model. So board my Corvette. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on the attack on the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. We've debriefed the civilians you saved, and have learned that moments before the attack, they lost contact with one of our research facilities. That facility is in orbit around this solar system's sun. What do you say? Up for a little reconnaissance? Certainly, Miss Calatrix. I am sure we are just as curious as you about what happened. Excellent. It could just be solar radiation blocking their comms, but I wouldn't bet on it. Fly out to the sun, investigate, and report back on whatever is going on. You may undock and begin your journey whenever you are ready, Captain. Okay, cool. So we got to undock. What is this stuff over here? So chat, Eve, help, project discovery, map. Fitting, fit your ship or structures with different equipment, personalization as its appearance. We got a ship tree, regional market, wallet, personal assets, inventory, the mail. We have opportunities, new opportunities, track your ongoing activities. Obviously, we're in the very beginning stages of the game, so there's not really much we can actually do. So we don't really get to see our character much. I'm kind of surprised they have such an in-depth character model without being able to do anything with it. Unless there is a point where you do get to see them. By warping to celestial objects and other locations using your overview. Select the sun in your overview and then warp to it. Okay, so they want us to do this and warp within zero meters of the sun. Seems like such a brilliant idea. Anyone curious? You're not actually able to look around while you're warping. ...above retina destroying levels. Polarizing filters compensating. I feel like warping directly to a sun's not the best play though, to be honest. It seems safe to conclude that the problem was not just blocked comms. Abnormal gravitational waves are emanating from the wreckage. Their source must have been exceptionally powerful for them to be so prominent despite the sun's own gravitational field. There are multiple wrecked ships among the debris. You can loot them to investigate their contents. Inventory window to proceed. All right, so I missed some of that because I was in a different menu. So let's just close this out. Return to the station whenever you are ready, Captain. So that should be the station, and then click on dock. Warp drive active. All right, so we actually get to see it this time. Docking permission requested. All right, so we got to wait for access to be granted. Then we can dock our ship. Request accepted. Welcome back. So, what did you discover? I'm afraid the research site has suffered the same fate as the cloning facility. 
This time, however, the wreckage was surrounded by abnormal gravitational waves. That's not something you need to concern yourself with. Miss Calatrix, you did ask us to report whatever was going on. It would be remiss of me if I did not know that these readings were quite unusual. Yes, well, you've reported it, and I have told you that it is not pertinent to this investigation. Did you find anything else? There were a number of wrecked air vessels at the site. We recovered this mining module from one of them. A mining module? That cannot be a coincidence. We've just been contacted by one of our agents stationed at a nearby mining site. They've picked up a strange signal, but have been unable to locate its source. We need to find out if there's any connection between this signal and the attacks. You'll need to investigate, but undercover this time. If there is a link, we can't let whoever is behind all this know that we're on to them. Fit the mining module you recovered to your ship. That way you'll look like just another member of the mining fleet. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. Okay, so that'd be inside the Neocom. Alright, so that'll be over here in the fitting area. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Let's get you out the way. Buy and train. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. Please direct your attention to the icon on the dis- You can add the missing skill to your training queue here. Now, access the skill window from the Neocom. Okay, so that'd be up here. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they serve as the primary measurement of one's growth. A more highly skilled pilot will be most formidable indeed. Training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain are rewired. The complexity of this rewiring can be measured through skill points. You have enough unallocated skill points to train the required skill. Do so now. Pretty sure it's automatically doing it, isn't it? You don't start training at this plane, you don't meet all the requirements. Wait, who? Alright, so it looks like it's going to be doing this mining upgrades automatically for us since we already clicked on it. Apply unallocated skill points. Now, all you have to do is confirm that you wish to use those skill points. Confirm? The training required for your new module is complete. Your skill queue is now empty. Cool. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? To that end, I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsular training program starter package, but your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. And you threw me into the fight immediately. Sound. You should always have a skill in training. Let's start with this new one. And may it be the first of many. The more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Now, close the windows crowding your screen. It would be rather comical if you fail to see a threat hurtling right towards us because of an untidy display. Turn the oh yes, hilarious. Away. Well done, Captain. You can now close the fitting window. Looks like you're ready to go, Captain. We've sent the details of your assignment to your opportunities interface. All right, so I'll be over here in opportunities.
So I'll be introductions. Help you discover key information about a variety of activities available to you.